Restoring Your Life with Linda Lang. With us for the rest of our program, um, I got a friend. Katie Aguirre, and she's with us today, and she's in the healthcare uh, business, and she does a lot, though. She does more than just helping people who are ill and things, but uh, uh, she plays a guitar, which we're going to get to listen to in a little while, and we also have, um, uh, we're going to be talking about our immune system and all kinds of things, and we're going to have some fun, because, you know, uh, there's a scripture, and it says, um, a merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones, and that's why I brought in that big spoon, because we need some good sugar. We need something to bring the medicine down into our inners, and we can do that through joy and fun. And, and even though our topic tonight is pretty heavy, we, we, in order to chew it up and swallow it, we need a little sugar. So we're going to add some fun and sugar into this program, but we want to talk about stress for a minute. Um, what is stress? And what is stress? It, it's the politically correct word for fear. You know, I had a friend that actually, um, I asked him one day, I said, do you have, uh, do you have fear? Because he seemed very agitated. And he goes, oh, no, I, I don't have any fear. And he's, he's this big biker type individual. And uh, I, I waited a few seconds and I looked back to him and I said, do you have stress? He goes, well, doesn't everybody? And I kind of chuckled because He's, he's actually told me he had fear. He just doesn't know it. See, if we don't know what stress is, we're going to just go around and wear it on as a, as a badge and think, oh, I'm so stressed today. We've got to stop telling on ourselves. We're just telling everybody how fearful we are. And so we're going to identify it tonight because you need to be freed from that. You need to be freed from what's behind the stress. You know, in everything that causes a stress, there's an element of fear. And we're going to talk about those things tonight. We have a lot to cover. Hopefully, we'll get through it. If we don't get through everything you want to hear uh, about stress, I have um, a website you can go to. You can pick up my book, Fearless Living. Um, all these different things and are tools for you. Tonight, we're just giving you a little drop in the bucket of what we can talk about in the time that we have. So... Um, the scripture that I want to uh, talk about first before I introduce Katie is 2 Timothy 1.7. It says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, <laughs> but power, love, and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. That freed me. See, I didn't know fear was a spirit. I thought it was a, an emotional defect that I had to put a medication on. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't realize that I had uh, to uh, receive this... Um, this love, which is, which is the next scripture, it says perfect love casts out fear and torment. Those are the two scriptures. If that's all you get tonight, that's, that's, it's weight in gold because if you recognize that it's perfect love that casts out all the fear and torment, I bet you can name a few torments right now that you're going through, um, and that God has not given us a spirit of fear. See, as a Christian, I'm thinking, wait a minute, I don't have a spirit. I don't have a, a bad spirit. I, I've only got the Holy Spirit. Then why was I in such fear all the time? Why was I stressed out and anxious and angered and frustrated and fearful? Why? It's because it's a spirit that's trying to use me. Now, the Bible says in 2 Timothy that we are to recover ourselves from the snare of the devil, and the snare of the devil is fear. So let's talk about that right now. I want to talk about stress a little bit. And I know Katie teaches stress classes, so I want her to kind of share a little bit about what you do, um, talk about stress a little bit. Mm -hmm. We had a, a great conversation the other day, and we were chuckling about everything. But uh, go ahead and, right. and tell us, Katie, well, about, well, about well, things. Thank, thank you, Linda. Thank you for having me on your show. Mm -hmm. and, and you're so right. Perfect love casts out fear. And God has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of love, power, and a sound mind. And it's so great. And stress can just, you know, wipe all that away. It just mm -hmm. has a way of... Uh, people a lot of times under stress you can't think sometimes you can't even remember your own name under uh, a great deal of stress um, and you, you know there was we were laughing the other day about some things and I was thinking well how would you know if you're under a lot of stress right well I came up with a few things you know you you would know if you're under a lot of stress uh, if your cat is on Valium <laughs> That, that would be a good indication right there. Uh, or your, the school principal has your home number on speed dial. Yes, that, that's that could, another that one. That would yep. be a major stressor. Your family gatherings are often mediated by law enforcement. There you that, go. There, you'd probably be under a lot of stress. <laughs> uh, that, um, 
You're, you know, you're trying to get your four-year-old to switch uh, to decaf. Yeah, there yeah, you go. There you go. That's a stress <laughs> family right there. Or the family, uh, you're stressed out. The family has no time uh, to even wait for a TV microwave dinner. There you go. Right. So there you go. <laughs> it's like... So it's all stressed out. And so stress is can can have a, a, a terrible effect on the whole body. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all joking aside, about 80 to 90 percent of all uh, disease can be traced back to stress. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very serious uh, factor, and I'm so glad that you're doing this, and you have, you know, spent uh, many, many years studying about this and how your thoughts and the mind, you know, the, your thoughts create emotions, and this, you know, the, uh, the emotions and the stress that, that comes um, through that and um, in today's life. Well, so let's talk about what's, you know, I said earlier that in, within every stressful situation, mm -hmm. there's fear. Right. So let's talk okay. about what things are we talking about? Because people are going, no, I don't have any fear, but I sure got a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. So, for example, let's say um, you have a job to do and you're at work. And, you know, you come home, you go, man, that job is stressing me out. Why would you get stressed <laughs> out over your job? Right. You, Why? you know, fear of failure, mm -hmm. fear of, you know. Uh, Not meeting the expectations of the expectations, boss. Expectations, other people's opinions, um, you know all the things that you know are, are outside of that you're right and so you'd say oh i'm i'm really stressed out but it's it is it's fear it is fear based it's fear of what will people think mm -hmm. and see that is behind most fear it's not what we're worrying about what god thinks mostly which we should be because that's who we should be thinking about if god if we think what god thinks we won't have any fear because his thoughts are wonderful and perfect towards us. But we're not receiving that. We're receiving everybody else's garbage. So fear of man kicks in. Yeah. So we have, you know, how, how do we get rid of that? How do we get rid of that fear of man? Right. We just, we have to say, okay, you know what, Lord? I got fear of man. I'm making man's words more important than yours. Mm -hmm. So we have to repent. We have to stop and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is... Uh, you know, that's, that's causing me my stress. I didn't know that, Father. Thank you for showing me that. Yes. You know, um, I had that story about that. I have a stress story. A oh, stress. This is, a this is hilarious. Um, see, I was making this dress, this wedding dress, and I had been working on it for about uh, three weeks. And every second of the time I was working on it, I would pray, Lord, help me with this piece. And he was with me. And he helped me find the pieces and different things. We put it together. I methodically worked on this dress. So I had the bride come over a couple of times. And we had it fitted to her and everything. So at the very end of all this, final fitting, she comes over and she didn't like it. <laughs> She didn't like oh, my dress after all I that. made, and so, oh, no. and my, and and, oh, and I no. go, and my, and and she wanted me to start changing it and doing this and doing that, and I just talk about stress. I thought, my yeah. husband says to me, Linda, tell her, you have to stop now. <laughs> You have to stop back, now. Back, back away from the dress. Back away from the dress. Get out of the stress. The stress, the stress. stress. Yeah, the stress, stress. Yeah, so and uh, what happened was once I did, I went, whew, I got deflated. I, the stress was gone. It didn't, I was, my husband told me I was driven. I was constantly driving and, and striving for this dress. And he says, I lost you for three weeks because you were like buried in the sewing machine for like three weeks. And yeah. so, but what happened was this. God's with me. Every step of the way. So why didn't she like it? Was I doing something wrong? Uh, no, God is with us no matter what. Yeah. If I'm plowing down that way and, and that's my, where I'm going, God's going to be with me and plow with me. <laughs> He's yes. going to plow down there with me. Right. And, and then once I get to the place where I'm actually grabbing a hold of the, oh, oh, I better get off this treadmill. I mean, I'm going down the wrong way. He skids with me and stops, and then we just kind of work it together. Because there's a scripture that says, all things work together for good to those that love God. Well, yeah. I love the Lord, you know, and, and I'm, I'm wanting to um, 
you know, please him and stuff. But he, he's pleased with me because I'm his kid. Yes. You know, he's pleased with me. And so with that dress, I don't know the end of that story yet. So stay tuned on that one because I don't know the end of that story yet because um, I don't know if I made it for somebody else. Right. I, did, I didn't hem it. It's sitting there on the mannequin, you know, uh, and it's beautiful. It's made with lace and things like that, but it just didn't work for her. And it worked out well because me and her are friends, so she, uh, we, we talked about it, and we forgave each other, and we, we know about forgiveness and loving each other and, and not holding any grudges, because I could have been resentful. Mm -hmm. I could have turned into bitterness. Right. I could have said, I'll never do right. that again. I'm, never, I'm not even going to her wedding. That's what happens <laughs> right. if we don't take care yes. of it. But immediately, we took care of it, and we decided to, um, you know, make amends. I said, go and pick out the most beautiful dress. She, she picked it out the next day. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's the perfect dress for her. Now this dress is sitting in my house and I'm looking at it going, okay, Lord, now I know you're going to finish this because you worked with me every step of the way. It was for a reason. I still don't know what that reason is. And there's a quote, and I love to say it this way. Everything's going to work out in the end and if it hasn't worked out yet, it's not the end it's yet. It's not the end yet. <laughs> so, I love that. So that gives me yeah. a lot of peace. It gives me a lot of yeah. comfort to know that everything, you know, is going to be okay in the end. Yes, and God was with you the whole time. He was with me the whole time, even when I was going down the wrong way. He says, though you make your bed in hell, I'll be <laughs> yes. with you. Right. See? So everybody here, listen up. He'll never leave us. Or he's never going to leave you. He's never going to forsake you. And fear only comes when you think he's abandoned you and rejected you, and he has not. I mean, I'm going down the wrong trail doing this dress. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, let's take a quick break, and we will be right back with more on anxiety and stress. Mm -hmm. 